Hi, I hope you had a great uh, relaxed holiday time during the Easter period. Let's now catch up with some news. Today Sony announced two new full frame sensors, the 61 and 44 megapixel full frame sensors. When they list it on Sony Somicron, it means that any company, third party company can buy those sensors from Sony. Uh, I don't know if the 61 megapixel sensor is exactly the same as used on the A7R5. All the PDF and the specs have been published on sonyofarumos.com, so please check out the website if you want to to dig into all those uh, super detailed info that has been listed by Sony. Then Panasonic a couple of days ago announced a next step in evolution of their organic sensor. They think it's the next big thing, uh, but this is going now on for 12 years. Back in 2011, Fuji announced the organic sensor development. In 2013, Panasonic and Fuji announced a joint partnership around that organic sensor development. But still, now we're 2023 and Panasonic keeps releasing every couple of years those press releases saying they made some kind of advancement in uh, dynamic range and color fidelity and whatever and uh, still uh, it's not nowhere close, close to be released they say like uh, the organic sensor should be ready in a couple of years but yeah I don't think we'll see it in a couple of years before that we will definitely maybe hopefully see a new Sigma Foveon sensor which is super interesting I think that definitely is a uh, next step in evolution of sensors that could really be a small game changer. I think also Sony is working on that, I know from the pattern, so uh, the Foveon 3 layer sensor might be something that in the coming years will be implemented on full frame cameras from uh, definitely Sigma, then Sony, and then of course also other manufacturers like Nikon and Canon will eventually um, go the same path. Now let's move on to a new adapter that will be announced on April 25 by Module 8. They launched a small teaser and this might be a new Canon EF to Sony E-mount adapter. There is no info about features but on April 25 I will definitely report it on sonyafromus.com. The next announcement for Nikon is about new lenses. It's confirmed that 200 to 600 millimeter lens is coming very soon that the info is from the reliable source named How to Fly and there will be also a new Day X. 12 to 28 PZ VR lens. The specs have been leaked by Nikon Netherlands. So this was now a quick catch up with a couple of news that have been posted on my rumor website the past days. And my next videos I will dig into new Sony rumors that I got in the past days. So again, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button if you don't want to miss my next upcoming videos. See you soon.